odds maker set the season win projected total for the Philadelphia Eagles at eight and a half wins this regular season. Do you play over or under? We give you the winner next. <laughs> Tony T here from Gamblers Television, covering the NFL Vegas style all season long. The Philadelphia Eagles finished the 2007 regular season with an 8-8 record. Head coach Andy Reese faced a turbulent train cap in 2007 as the Suns faced jail time. The Eagles are hoping for a healthy Dominic Nab as he's missed 15 games over the past three seasons. Oddsmakers set the Philadelphia Eagles regular season win projected total at Eight and a half wins. Take a look at their schedule. The Eagles play in the NFC East, and that means two games with Dallas, the New York Giants, and Washington. The NFC East plays the NFC West and AFC North, and that means a tough road game at Seattle. Now, they do get a bit unlucky here, traveling to the weaker teams in the AFC North, in Baltimore and Cincinnati, while hosting Pittsburgh and Cleveland. You know, you, know, you want to host the weaker teams because it makes it easier for wins. As the last place team in the NFC East last season, they faced the other last place teams, from the NFC, and it's a road game at Chicago and a home game against Atlanta. Take a look at their offense. Let's begin with the quarterback position. Donovan McNabb's shoulder is fine as he experienced shoulder tendonitis during the team's OTAs and was shut down. You know, though the veteran has lost some mobility after his knee surgery, he did look pretty good at the end of last season and started to begin to show some more mobility. Now, Brian Westbrook is coming off another spectacular season at running back, and Corral Buckhalter got himself in great shape to open camp. Westbrook gained over 2,000 receiving and rushing yards combined last season. The Eagles tried to line a big name in the offseason at wideout, but failed to make deals for Randy Moss or Larry Fitzgerald. Now, Deshaun Jackson was drafted out of Cal in the second round, and he's going to make an impact on the field and even in the return game. Kevin Curtis is coming off a career year with 77 receptions and over 1,100 yards receiving last year. Take a look at their defense now. A huge addition was added for the defensive coordinator, Jim Johnson, as cornerback Asante Samuel was acquired through free agency. With the return of Sheldon Brown and Alito Shepard, it gives the Eagles weapons when rushing the quarterback. Now, Shepard is a bit annoyed that Samuel was brought over as a starter to start in his position. So it looks like Alito may have to start on the right side. Now, all three might be on the field over 50% of the time, according to defensive coordinator Jim Johnson. Now, defensive end Chris Clemens was signed from the Raiders and is coming off a year where he registered eight sacks, and he's going to be a weapon in the pass rush. Now, Trent Cole is coming off a Pro Bowl season on the D-line and registered 12 and a half sacks last season. Javon Kurse left the Eagles and really appeared to be declining in recent years. The Eagle linebackers are young and they're very talented. And now to my selection. Now, in Andy Reid's tenure with the Eagles, his teams missed out on the playoffs on only two occasions. Now, he bounced back nicely after missing the postseason, posting regular season records of 11 and 5 and 10 and 6. Jim Johnson is the best defensive mind in the NFC, and the Eagles loaded him up with weapons. Now, with Washington and the New York Giants declining a bit in the division, the Eagles they're going to rise. Finishing in last place in the NFC East last season means they face the two last place teams in the NFC South and NFC North this season. David Akers is among the best kickers in football. You know, the Eagles lost four games by three points or less last season, but this improved squad would have turned most of those losses into W's. Played the Philadelphia Eagles over eight and a half wins for the 2008 regular season. This is Tony T from our Rockstar Studio reminding you to visit and bookmark my television show page at www.gamblerstelevision.com for continuous points for coverage from the NFL. Gamblers Television, get addicted.